on the special occasion to oh listen to my pop. Oh my god, wow. This was a day. Anyway, um, hey guys, it's me, Crow, obviously. Um, today I will be doing a tutorial on how to download EPSXE, which is a PlayStation emulator. Um, it's a very simple download. It will be up to like five minutes of you pl of downloading it and playing the game. So let's hop to it. Okay, first you want to go to Google. You want to type in EPSXE, and that's it. And it should be the first link, and uh, um, it should be in downloads. Um, you want to download the first one you see, which is EPSXE version 1.6.0. Um, oh yeah, by the way, make sure you have a Renoir, because if you don't have that, you're pretty much screwed. Um, what you want to do is extract everything you download from the EPSXE version 1.6.0. 6.0 and extract it into some kind of folder. I extracted my to my documents for some weird reason, but I recommend making a folder on your desktop and put it in there, or just extract it into your desktop at all. Just plain and simple like that. After you do that, um, you want to look over. You want you know, open your EPSXC. And by doing that, you click this white controller thingy um right now you know as you see there won't be any well for you there won't be any um plugins or bios in there because you have to download them which I'll get to that shortly um and also there's no bios in there the reason why they don't add plugins bios because technically this is illegal which you should know that but you know I mean, there's a lot of people who downloaded this and all that, so don't worry, please, don't worry. Anyway, um, how to download the plugins? Well, we're gonna do that first. Um, for plugins, you wanna um search for EPSXE plugins. Now, you can also go to a pirate website and download the whole package of EPSXE with BIOS and plugins, but usually they're the like old versions of EPSXE so you just might as well do it manually so to speak um you want to download your graphics plugin um uh, I recommend PE oh well PE ops dot s well I'll just you know say it P ops because it's not you know it's for the sake of time um you want to download P ops for graphics plugin you want to do sounds plugin for P ops and CD plugins for PIOPS. You know, all of them. You know, yeah, that's about it. Um, but you want to do this click this little thing right here and extract into your plugins folder in your EPSXC folder. Well, extract into your, yeah, you know, like I said. <laughs> um, what do you want to do there? Well, that's about it. it when you do that, um, you do that for every single plugin you want. And you just only have to do is extract it into your plugins folder, in EPS6, EPSXE folder, for every single plugin and for your BIOS also. Um, and like I said before, you must have WinRAR for this. I will, you know, put a link to WinRAR also on the side of the screen. You will see it over there somewhere. Um, but anyway to get your now to get your bios um to get the bios you have to type in scph 1001.bin space aldo why well, i say aldo at the end because you know it's actually the website of this place but it's easy access to get the bios what we want to do is like scroll down a little bit well, you know, scroll down, scroll down, and you see scph1001.bin. You click that, and then it takes you to this page. You want to download either one of these two right here. Either only only these two, because those are the only American ones, I believe. And that one down there. I'll just recommend these two, I guess. 
And after that, you do the same thing as you did with the plugins, like I said before, and extract it. In, but extract this into your BIOS folder, which will look like this BIOS. And you see, mine is already in there. What well, mine is already in there? Um, as SCPH one zero zero one. It's a pretty fast download for plugins and BIOS. Um, and after that, you want to open your EPS6E and configure all your stuff. Mine's already configured since I already have it downloaded. Um, just go right here and click PIOS. Click OK or test just in case. Um, for my sound, I have EPS6E SPU core, which already comes with it, so I just leave it as that. CD ROM, I have it on Mubi. To CD disk image driver 2.8 because that what makes work this some games for like you know like rhythm based games I'll get to that in another video but anyway after you configure all that you want to also configure your controller my I already have a, I have a PS3 controller so it was pretty damn easy to configure <laughs> so you know if you, you should get a PS3 controller it only costs like what fifty dollars probably. If you want to play this, if you want to get a good controller, or you can probably get a cheap controller too. I don't know. Anyway, it was just very convenient for me that I had a PS3 controller. After that, you're pretty much done. Uh, in the next, I'll be making a new video soon. It'll be about how to download games on this. And um, that'll be that. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you just um, all the people who watch this, please subscribe or comment the video. I mean, if you're gonna flame it or whatever, at least explain yourself why it's bad, so we can so you can both help us out in the future. So I want to make crappy videos. I mean, I know it's crappy. I mean, I'm kind of new at this, but um, that's about it. Crow, peace out.